Welcome guys, this is Data Slash Fun YouTube channel. Today we will see how to create animated plot in R Studio part 3 video. In part 1st and 2nd we already saw how to do animation plot by using ggplot and plotly package in R Studio. So if you not saw the first two parts then please check the description of the video. You will get the part 1 and 2 link for seeing this animation plot by using ggplot and plotly package. So don't miss these previous two video. Then please guys subscribe this YouTube channel for getting latest update in data science and press bell icon for getting latest video notification and please share this video with your friends so they can also get the updated knowledge in data science and R. So let's see how to create animated plot in R studio. For plotting animation plot first you need to install two packages in your R Studio. First package is Google VIS. You can install this package by using this command install.packages Google VIS. Then I use gapminder data for data visualization. So this for the gapminder data you need to install this package as well install.packages gapminder. And just recall these two packages by library function library Google VIS and library gapminder. Then just check the brief of data set. What is the gapminder data? So this is a simple data. First column of gapminder data set is country. Then second column is a continent. Third column is years. Fourth column is life. EXP means average life of population in that country with respect to year. Then population. This is the population size of country with respect to year and GDP per capita of that country with respect to year. So very simple data set and we will create a very nice and interactive animation plot for this data set. Just see. Here is a simple command for creating animation plot for gap minor data set. I am giving here any underscore plot name for this animation plot and this command giv sorry gvi motion charts gap minor our data set on x axis x variable we take here population column on y axis life experience means average life of population then on time variable we put here years so this relation will be move on this time frame year and id variable is equal to country by this id variable you can easily read the animation plot just run it control plus enter and by this command you will get the animation plot in your browser so use internet explorer for the data visualization of this command because sometimes in chrome it is not working so it automatically work in chrome but it's not showing any plot that's why i'm just copying this link and pasting in our internet explorer just open new window and paste the link enter enter then you can see here play button by pressing a play button the relation of life experience and population will be moved see here are lots of options here is a size option you can decide the point size by the different suppose i want to decide the point size by population size so you can change the population size or uh, point size by population size then here is a color option just pointing any continent the color of continent will be blink here is africa and color is blue so it's blinking respectively asia for green color and here by just pointing any country it shows the details of country so population and life experience and here is a chart option you can change the chart type like a line plot 
here is a bar plot here is a line plot and here is a direct option you can change the x axis and y axis variable also by just open the drop down and change the variable so hope you understand how to do this type of animation plot in your R studio please guys try this code on your R studio with same data set and if you have any challenges with coding and package installment then please comment on this video I will definitely help you and please guys press the bell icon for getting notification of our new video and share this video with your friends also so they can get updated knowledge in data science and our programming thank you so much for watching